Hey guys, Jordan Lee here. Uh, just gonna go over three of my favorite uh, fall baits for spotted bass. Um, you know, spotted bass are a little bit different from largemouth and smallmouth. And uh, here's a couple, you know, the baits I like. First of all, this is a, a Strike King Sexy Dog. I really like this bait just to cover water, fishing points and humps. It really works great for suspended fish. And that's what you get a lot of times in the fall. So that's my number one go-to bait. The next one is a, a Strike King swim bait. This is a 3.8. I got it on a spin head style bait, and this works great too when the fish are a little bit deeper. You know, they may be in that 20, 30 foot zone, and uh, you know, basically you just throw it out there and retrieve it slow. I got it on a little bit slower speed reel, and so it works good when the fish aren't coming up as much and they're they're down a little bit deeper. So that's pretty much my my second bait, and my third one is a little bit smaller swim bait. Um, this is just like a three inch swim bait and I just rig it on a ball head. Um, it, it, this works good when the fish are schooling. You know, if they're coming up and they're, a lot of times they'll be eating really small bait. So you don't want to throw a huge swim bait out there and they may not want that. So this is just a, a good bait for when the fish are coming up schooling and it's my, my third one. Um, as far as, you know, what I fish all these, the line size, I like to throw a braid to, to fluorocarbon leader on the swim bait, just because I can get those long casts. Um, this is an eight pound Seaguar uh, fluorocarbon leader. And that's the main reason I like that braid to, to fluoro, is just so I can get really super long casts. Cause a lot of times those fish won't be coming up right near the boat. For the spin head and the, and the swim bait, I like uh, throwing on 12 pound Seaguar, um, Invis X and it just an all around go to. I throw it on a six one to one uh, quantum smoke reel um, in, in just a short rod. This is a 610 KVD rod. Um, you don't really need a beef, beefy rod for this technique. And probably the most important, I think, for, for the top water, the sexy dog, is having a, a braid to, to mono leader. This is Seaguar Smackdown 30 pound braid. Um, I throw it on a 15 pound mono leader and this just gets where you can make a super long cast and the, the braid, if you have straight braid, it'll tangle up in the hooks and a lot of times the fish will pull off. So that mono gives it a little bit of stretch and uh, it'll just help you put more fish in the boat.